In the 1970s, Utah municipalities wanted to provide electric power to their residents, but didn't have the scale to take on an entire power plant on their own. Meanwhile, California was growing quickly. The Golden State provided a customer base large enough to justify building a new power plant, and Utah's municipalities would benefit as well. Utah cities were provided additional insurance in that any power they didn't need to buy, California would take. A partnership was established. 23 Utah municipalities came together to form the Intermountain Power Agency. Power sales contracts were established with rural electric cooperatives and six large municipal power systems in Southern California. And the Intermountain Power Project was constructed. For nearly four decades, this successful arrangement has created jobs in Millard County and across Utah, as well as hundreds of millions of dollars in tax contributions to the state. Now, 40 years later, the Intermountain Power Agency is acting to protect jobs and invest in Utah, while hundreds of other similarly aged power plants across the nation are being decommissioned. Energy communities across America have seen their schools close and main streets shutter as markets changed. IPA boldly stepped up and decided that would not happen in Millard County, Utah. With an impressive infrastructure already in place, IPA commenced development of a new natural gas power plant on the same property as the existing units, dubbed IPP Renewed. This allowed IPP to keep its California customers while giving Utah cities access to a new state-of-the-art power plant, all while continuing to provide the flexibility for Utah cities to take power from the project only when they need it. Over the years, energy markets have changed. Energy consumers are demanding cleaner energy. And while solar and wind power have increased substantially across the United States, the problem of interruptible power remains. Reliable, dispatchable power will always be needed to provide a foundation for the electricity grid. And the unique geology under IPP has led to new exciting possibilities. Since IPP's new combined cycle natural gas generating units are already able to blend hydrogen, the salt dome deep under the site provides an important energy storage opportunity that no other site in the country can match. ACES Delta, a project of Mitsubishi and Chevron, is under construction, building the largest hydrogen production and storage facility in the region, directly adjacent to IPP Renewed, which will serve as an anchor tenant. At startup, IPP Renewed expects to use 30% hydrogen blended with its natural gas intake. Renewable energy that could not otherwise be easily stored will be used to make hydrogen, practically serving as an enormous battery, readily dispatchable to provide baseload power. And solution-mined caverns in the salt formation under IPP Renewed will allow for storing an immense amount of hydrogen. IPP Renewed and the adjacent ACES Delta project represent more than $4 billion in new investment in the state that would not have been possible without the dedication of IPA's board and decades of successful regional energy cooperation and municipal leadership across two states. Unlike many other projects, no Utah tax subsidies or economic development subsidies are being used. The new power station, just like the old power station, is a significant source of tax revenue to the state of Utah and Millard County. The investment is solely paid for by voluntary participants who want to use the energy. In less than 24 months, IPP Renewed will be operational. 1,200 construction workers will have labored on site at peak construction. And IPP will continue as a major Millard County employer for another generation. Instead of another sad story of an energy community that used to be something, Millard County, Utah will continue to benefit from a healthy tax base and the jobs located at the site and around Delta. The local school system will have the financial support it needs to educate the next generation of Utah's energy industry. And it will do so while being one of the cleanest, most efficient thermal power plants in the country. Utahns can be proud of the leadership by the municipalities of the state that have led to this multi-billion dollar investment. Their efforts exemplify industry in all the best ways.